Hello viewers, today on Prayer Pivot TV Church News we bring you three trending stories involving the church. Pastors are now getting involved in the kidnap business going on in Nigeria, except that this time the pastors are faking their own kidnap to extort money from their family and church members. Our first story is about the general overseer of Resurrection Power Church, a church in Nasarawa State, Pastor Richard and Yakashikwo who is from Edimali South Council area arranged and faked his own kidnap to extort 10 million naira from his family members. He involved his wife and another pastor friend Pastor Enoch to plan his kidnap. The police arrested Pastor Richard and his accomplices on June 18, and during interrogation by the police he confessed that he is a pastor and at the same time a contractor. According to his confession, he took loans worth 600,000 naira from banks for his contractor business. He could not pay back the loans and the banks were after him. So, he came up with a plan to extort money from his rich civil servant brother by faking his own kidnap with the help of his wife and friend Pastor Enoch. In a similar case in May of this year, just few weeks ago, the pastor of a Methodist church in Aduakiti, Rev. Peter Atuwea Adagoke also tried to scam his own church members by planning his own kidnap to get the ransom money of 3 million naira. He was arrested when police traced the phone to where he was calling to ask for the ransom money only to find out that the arrested person is the same Rev. Peter Atuwea Adagoke. Rev. Adagoke claimed that he acted under spiritual manipulation. The menace of kidnapping has taken another twist in Nikiti State when the news filtered out about this priest in an Orthodox church in Nadwekiti, arranging for abduction in order to extort the ransom money from his members. The pastor for three days lodged himself in an hotel, which we were equally tracking, and kept himself away from members of the church and sent in this panicking um, information that he was kidnapped and there was the his school accused was equally using that same line to negotiate for a ransom of three million and as law could get out of them they were all apprehended even at the point where the church was strenuously trying to to pick up contributions and donations from members so that they could um, using pain for for the ransom. I don't see it as a, something that's ordinary because I don't know. After the whole thing happened, my, I just get back to my senses. The claim of a spiritual attack by the suspect appears not to hold water in the face of a fresh allegation from a top member of the church who is a signatory to its account. He's been signing my signature unknown to me because he receives the alert, a different person pays into the account, he receives the alert, I am the signatory A. He's, uh, in the project account, uh, we had over 1.36 million, which he has withdrawn to only 10,000 naira. In the admin account, he has withdrawn over close to 150,000 naira. To the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, it is a shameful development. It's unchristianly, it's ungodly. So even to the entire Christian body, so we have to condemn that type of attitude. Governor Kaode Fayemi had recently convened a meeting of traditional rulers to get to the root of kidnapping menace in the state. Well, this is the church presided over by the clergyman in question. In our next story, perhaps because pastors are now faking their own kidnap, two real kidnappers pretending to be a pastor and military officer attempted to scam Dr. Pastor Paul Enanshia, the senior pastor of Dunamis International Gospel Center Abuja, Nigeria, but for spiritual discernment. According to Pastor Enanshia, thieves came to hug him a transformer. See the video. I received a text message from a bishop. He texted me um, that he came from the country of Gambia, or country of Gambia, and he wanted to see me because he had an encounter that directed him to come and meet me, um, to pray for him. 
impart him so he can return back to his country and create impact. And then he, someone gave him the number of somebody that he can use to contact me. And he contacted the person and the person asked him to come down to Nigeria and meet him and he will bring him to me. And then he came down and then he said the person told him to bring a certain amount of money um, with which um, he will see me. Um, um, that they, According to him that the person said he wants to use that to test his loyalty or faithfulness or something. And that uh, he sold some things from his country or whatever and gave the person one million naira. And, 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 and when he sent me that text and that now the, the person is not receiving, answering his call anymore and that uh, he came with his daughter um, 15 year old daughter and they have been in the country for two weeks and um, the daughter is even sick now and they are even running out of funds for hotel you know um, the first thing I told him I said this is stupidity if you say you are a pastor or a bishop do you do, people, do they give people money before they see you in any case we will go to the root of it whoever is that thief we shall arrest him we we'll go to the root of it so I sent our pastor in that state to, 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 I, I called him and then he called the pastor, the uh, local government pastor in the local government where the man said he is. Uh, that uh, the person um, said, uh, I'm, I'm coming to that side of the country very soon, so he should wait for me there. All right? So when a pastor in that locality, are you ready for stories? <laughs> when our, our pastor in that locality um, went, uh, he said uh, he, he, he saw the man and the, the story looks real and actually there was um, a naval officer who um, also met him who he heard the story and rescued him it was that officer that gave him my true number that he used to call me and so our pastor organized for him to be brought to the state headquarters and, we, and they brought him and then they organized for them to come to Abuja here and they came yesterday I received them, was very excited and received them. And then it and narrated the story that he had surgery. I saw the laparotomy scar. He showed me terrible surgical um, sight. And that he was dead practically for four hours. And that in that realm, he was dead going to hell. I think before he repented, in quote. And then, then he saw me, interrupted his death and asked him to come back to the world. And so on and so forth and come and meet me. Long story made short, we decided, okay, we should we'll get them a place to stay over here, uh, both him and, the, and then the, the naval officer man, and then the, the daughter, which I haven't seen. All right? So I came into the church to pray for, for some people here, and then I met him standing up there, just gazing at the hall, waiting, sanctuary, waiting for when they will take him to the lodging, and then the little girl was standing right there, Oh, is that your daughter? Yes. You said the daughter likes me a lot. She likes my dance. Oh, wow, that's exciting. So I called the daughter. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, that's your father, right? Uh, yes. Uh, so where do you stay? The Holy Ghost came on me on the spot. And then all of a sudden, so, so where do you stay? Oh, I stay in Lagos. Oh, really? Have you um, traveled out of Nigeria before? No. Okay, um, so where are you from? Um, so and so state. What of the man uh, is from so and so state, a state in the south side, Cross River State? Oh, really? Where does he live? Oh, he lives. He, he, then she mentioned the town where the man said they, they kept him. That's where he lives. Oh, really? Wow. Goat went to greet Hyena. <laughs> <laughs> the curiosity of the goat that went in made him to go and salute lion you see lion you come to to, to, to greet him so I said okay uh, young man come here now the naval officer showed me his naval ID card clean naval ID card um, the Ojo cantonment is on pass and then um, he saw this man all right, all of you sit down here. So you know this man. While I was talking, I already signaled one of our men to help me 
arrange for those who will um, show them the way. So, <laughs> right, can you, um, so, well, yeah, so, little girl, what did you say again? She said, um, where do you live? Oh, we live, we live in Lagos. Oh, really? Um, okay, so where are you from? I'm from this place. I said, so, this is your daughter, right? You see a person like me, you came to dupe me, right? You see a person, a place like this, and you think that we, we are so dull, we don't have the spirit of God at all. So mumushious, right? You see, excuse me, let me say something. I said, say nothing now. But before we knew it, those who will arrange him, arrange him to go and give the detail. And then the little girl was, was still around. The little girl said, Sir, I want you to free me from their hand. I said, what are you talking about? He said, they stole me from Anambra State. Yeah. I said, what are you talking about? Come. She said, I'll, I'll tell you everything. Well, the, 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 the man claimed to be a pastor and went somewhere to preach. And duped the people and ran away the next day with the girl. The senior sister of the girls got their number and called him. He said she, he should bring so and so amount before he released the girl. Eh? I think it's like film. <laughs> Yesterday here, all the other stories that the girl was saying, you don't want to hear them. Abuse. Both men. She was in tears. I said, calm down, baby. Calm down. You're already free. You're already free. If it is for your sake that they came here, so you can be free, you are free. When they arranged them to law enforcement, the bishop wanted to run through the window. When they harvested him back, after they made him to talk through, he said, I would say the truth. He gave all the truth. The naval officer was no naval officer. He has never been in any force. They found police uniform in his bag. <laughs> Those who were in the in the Ellie, will I seek you? I told you I will tell you a story in the evening. That is the story. So the police told him, he said, oh, I wish it is not a police person you killed to get his uniform. They have sent for the auntie of the girl because she's, she's lost her mother to come and pick her. She's on her way coming. The church they duped the pastor is also on his way coming. Question. What if we don't have the spirit of God? He will add this place as the list of places. What do, and we are full of compassion. I can't hear such a story and keep quiet. To all of a sudden. Tell me about the man. What's your relationship with him? That is why we need God. It's not for lost. He can save you from death. He can, the power of God can save you from destruction. 
he can save another life like the life of this girl. Chicken ran into lion. You survive? Of all, you just carry yourself as a thief. Went to hog transformer. <laughs> he will never forget the forgive the devil that sent him. He won't forgive that devil. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon everyone here today. Accuracy, sensitivity, discernment. That is your portion. Fresh grace, fresh help, fresh sensitivity, and fresh discernment. That is our portion. And everyone that is connected, related to you, that is in the captivity of the devil, I declare they are released right now. 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 If you are saying amen, shout it like a believer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for our weekly church news. Like and share our videos. God bless you.